It's the Colorado Rockies set to go with the St. Louis Cardinals. On the hill today, we've got an interesting matchup. It's certainly worth noting. Mark Mulder will be the St. Louis starter in this one. Last season, his ERA was just above 440. Joe Kennedy gets the call. He'll be his opposite for the Rockies. It's baseball time. Once again, we go to St. Louis. It's Bush Stadium. John Miller with Hall. First open back in 1966. Here's a look at Bush Stadium in St. Louis as ESPN gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball action from the home of the Cardinals. We've got a little exhibition baseball in store for you here. Today, it's the Colorado Rockies taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. This is John Miller welcoming you to our Major League Baseball telecast along with former Major Leaguer and Hall of Famer Joe Morgan. And Joe, before we get rolling here, let's quickly talk about the Rockies. Uh, what do they have to do to win this ball game? Well, John, a guy that's always entertaining to watch is Preston Wilson. It's usually hit or miss with him. He does strike out more than most guys, but when he makes contact, look out. He's going to drive the ball with his power to all fields, and he has power to spare. Mark Mulder will be doing the pitching. Well, John, you have to be happy when you have Mark Mulder out there on the mound. He'll lead up innings by dominating the offense with an assortment of pitches. He's one of the elite pitchers in this game for the last five years. Look for that to continue. The three game warm ups are over. It's about time for baseball. Thanks for joining us here on ESPN. First pitch on the way. First pitch. That's a big fly swing right there. He throws. Hit in the air to left center. And that's a base head as it gets down in front of him. This is what you want to start the game. The leadoff man's on. Let's see if they get him going here. Here's the lineup for the Colorado Rockies. Preston Wilson will be hitting third in that lineup. Runner at first. He's running towards second. And he is out on a good throw. And they nail him trying to steal. He did not wait around a whole long time before he made that attempt. Well, he tried to take off on the first pitch, but he was ready for it. And he fired the strike and nailed it. Swung on and hit down the line and left. This one into the corner. And power. There's a swing and a bullet towards the hole. Roland is there and he makes the catch. Two down now. Now let's take a look at the Cardinals defense. Base is empty, two down here. First pitch, here it comes. Slider swung on and missed, 0 and 1. And here's a fly ball to straightaway left. And that gets down for a base hit. John, with two quick outs, as a hitter, you want to get on base and give your pitcher an extra minute or two of rest. And he comes through here. First pitch on the way. Well, he just pounds that outside corner, gets it right out there on the block. He delivers. That ball is lifted high in the air, deep down the line and right. Gone! A homer, a two-run shot. Well, John, I'll tell you, with the vast majority of big liggers at the plate, that's a great pick. But this guy is one of those rare breeds that actually has success hitting that pitch down and in. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch to him. Change up in there for a called strike. He had movement on that change up and it moved down and in. Good hard splitter swung on and missed. It's 0-2. One out of this, and with that, the side is retired. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you on K-Zone. 
give you a better look. A fantastic strikeout pitch here. It's headed down and in, and the batter just didn't have time to adjust. He never had a chance on this one. Not a real good swing, Joe. But you've got to give the pitcher credit, too. He made the pitch, and the batter couldn't handle it. Yeah, but it's just a bad swing. Yes, it was. The Rockies pick up a couple here to break the tie. Now we'll go to the bottom of inning number one. Colorado leads it two to nothing. Joe Kennedy is going to be the starting pitcher in this one. Opposing hitters with a batting average of 265 against him. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch, a fastball swung on and missed 0-2. With two strikes, you got to swing at anything close. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Holiday is over and he makes the catch for the out. This one's headed towards the gap, but it's a bit high and the left fielder moves to his left and puts it away. Oh, nowhere to hide now. Stay okay, here, big man. He deals. Thank well, you. the changeup fooled him so badly he didn't have any bat speed on that one. Fastball, got him. Two down. Man, that's a tough pitch. All he can hope to do there is pop it off, but he swung right through it. This one's coming in on him, and he chased it. Tough, tough pitch to handle. Not too much you could have done there, Joe. The pitch just made him look bad right there. Yeah, he did. That was just a great pitch for that situation. Now let's take a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. First pitch, here it comes. Swing and a miss. He swung late at that one. It's 0-1. This one swung on and fouled away. Ball swung out and missed, and the side is retired. Three pitches that he's out. Great pitching here. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, strike one, strike two, strike three, and see you later. Nothing doing here this happening. After one, the Rockies lead it two to nothing. The numbers six, seven, eight hitters are coming up. Clint Barnes will be the first man up. First pitch to him. That's a perfect location for a strikeout. Let's see if he goes back there again. Swings it lines this one towards the hole and it's in there base hit and that is not in time and he's aboard John now they're really in business a base hit with no one out Moore will get his first plate appearance of the game right now nobody out and a runner at first first pitch to him Swings and misses on the slider. 0 and 1. That was a slider and he was way out in front of it. He kicks, he throws. Toughest spot for a hitter. 0 and 2. The pitcher has a lot of pitches he can play with. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. There he goes, towards second. Got him on the split. One away. And he's in there at second. Charles Johnson steps into the batter's box. He had a total of 13 big flies last season. Finished with 47 RBIs a year ago. And that swung on and missed 0-1. Good hard splitter swung on it, missed. It's 0-2. Fastball, got it. Two down. When you pitch a hitter inside, you better not make a mistake and get it over the plate. He does it right here. Perfect pitch, down and in. Kennedy gets his first look in this one. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch on the way. Got the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. Now you're in the hole. You just got to concentrate on making contact. 
Twitter swung out of the stop. Let's take a look at the pitching sequence, John. He delivers three straight strikes. Yeah, that's not much of a sequence. Just uh, get to the plate and then take your spot the bench. The Colorado Rockies pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. On now to the last half of the second. The Rockies on top, two to nothing. The heart of the order coming up next. Scott Rowland is due up next, and you always have to be careful with him. Swings and misses at the curve. 0 and 1. The pitch. On the ground to first. Helton has it. And he'll step on first for out number one. That's a great play for the fourth and first base. He just took care of it himself. Edmonds is ready to dig in now. First pitch, here it comes. There's a swing and a soft liner to the right side. Miles on the run as he gets there in time to put it away. Not a bad swing, but not enough oof behind it. And it is retired. Reggie Sanders is the batter. Last season he had 22 four batters. He knocks swings and lines this one back up the middle. Kennedy is there and he makes the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down this happened. We'll go to the top of inning number three. Colorado on top. Two to nothing. And the top of the order is coming up. Preston Wilson will try and get something started. He's up third in the next inning. That's a perfect location for a strikeout. Let's see if he goes back there again. Strike two. Swing and a miss, and he falls behind 0-2. catch up with it. Now we'll get a chance, John, to see the changeup in Kazon. Nice pitch on the inside corner, and he got him chasing it. Boy, he wanted that one. You can see it in his body language. He just got out dueled by the pitcher on that one. Fastball in there for a call strike. He kicks, he throws. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And that falls for a base hit. John, good bat speed through the zone that time with one out now. Let's see if they can try to move him along. Runner at first, one down. First pitch to him. Ooh, and that runs in and gets him. Fastball that got away from him. Man, that's got to hurt. Helton will stand in. He homered earlier in the game. One out, runners at first and second. First pitch, here it comes. I don't think he liked that call much, but the umpire says right out there on the edge. And he says, you're killing me, huh? There's a swing and a ground ball. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he is thief at home as he just does get in there to score. This one you could dispute. It's hard to see if he got down in time, but the replay is 30. With just in time. It's hard to see with all that dust and... All that excitement going on. And every once in a while, the umpires need nice pitch. Two men on, one man out. First pitch on the way. And the hitter thought that was inside, but it's right there on the corner. Swung on, hit softly towards the hole. One run is in. John, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just got to bear down and get somebody out. Runners at first and second with one out. First pitch to him. Even if he swings at that pitch, there's not a lot he can do with it. Great pitch. He throws. There's two quick ones, and now the hitter's really in trouble. He was looking for a fastball, John, but he got the changeup. He's going right through it. Strike three. Dustin Moore up there now. Last year he had seven on runs. His career slugging percentage is under 420. 
Even if he swings at that pitch, there's not a lot he can do with it. Great pitch. Got the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0-2. Here, John, three great pitches. Well, he's got to have great stuff because you don't see guys go down on three pitches like that very often. Very nice. The Rockies scratch out a couple of runs on three hits with two men left. And we move on now to the home half of the third. Colorado leads it four to nothing. It's the last third of the batting order coming up. Mark Rutzelanek will be the first man up. Oh, he missed that one by a mile. 0 oh and 1. This one swung on and hit on a line. Atkins is there and puts it away for out number one. Molina will get his first opportunity in this ball game. Base is empty, one out. First pitch on the way. Oh, and he can't catch up there. All in one. Here's the pitch. Can't get extended on that one, and he's behind now. Oh, and two. And he fouls this one off. Goal. Swing and a miss on the fastball. And that's the second out of the inning. Well, he was looking dead red. He got the fastball, but he could not make contact. Strike three. Let's see this one again on K-Zone. It was a four-seam fastball. Well, he's in good pitching rhythm now, John. This strikeout on four pitches sits the hitter down. Yeah, he just blew him away. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball, swung out, missed 0-1. Fastball swung on this, and with that, the side is retired. Well, John, let's see this pitch again on K-Zone. Here's another look at the four-seam fastball. You see him go after the inside part of the plate here, John. Well, and the pitcher made this hitter look like he wasn't even a big leaguer with his swing on that one. Well, as a hitter, you just got to get your timing down. He certainly didn't have it there. Nothing doing here this happening. We're through three here at the ballpark. The Rockies lead four to nothing. And the numbers eight, nine, and one hitters are due up next. Charles Johnson will be the first man up. First pitch to him. Take one. The 0 one pitch, a fastball swung on a missed 0 and 2. And this one's grounded a second. Rudzalonic has it on the hop. Throw on the first in time. Pujol with the off-balance throw, and he got it. This is a heck of a play. I'll tell you what, he makes this throw look relatively easy, but a lot of times you release this ball and just hope you get it somewhere in the vicinity of the bag. One out, none on. First pitch on the way. There's a bullet towards third. Rowland gets there in time to make the great running catch. So something of a wake-up call down there. Third, but he's going to be out. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch to him. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. He throws. Good hard slider. Swung on and missed. 0-2. 0-2, the pitcher's got him right where he wants him. He's got a lot of pitches to play with. Struck him out, and that is strikeout number eight so far. Three pitches, and he's out. Great pitching here. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, strike one, strike two, strike three, and see you later. So they go down quietly. On down to the last of the four. Colorado on top, four to nothing. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Albert now, when you can see the stitching on a baseball like this batter does, you know the pitcher's in some serious trouble. Line shot into center field. And that one falls in there, base hit. The throw to second. 
John, that's the first hit allowed thus far as it comes here in the fourth. Let's see if they can do anything with it. First pitch, here it comes. Swings and misses at the curve. Oh and one. There's a swing and a bullet towards the hole. The throw to third. John could be the start of something big here. Two straight hits to start the inning, and they've got something cooking now. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball swung on a miss, 0-1. He's getting recognized now, even though swung on and grounded towards the hole. The second for one and two. A double play. They needed the ground ball there, and they got it. And John, that's pretty. Right around the horn for two. Nice turn by the second baseman. Excellent job to finish it off. Scott Rowland steps in now. He had a total of 34 home runs last season. He's got a 520 career slugging percentage. Took something off, and it swung on a miss. On the ground to first. Helton is right there. John, let's check out this four-seam fastball. Here's Kazon. As you can see, he's trying to get him to chase a pitch that's low in the zone, and he finally manages to get him to go for it. Yeah, that's a key out. It certainly was, but big-time pitchers come through in tough situations like these. The Cardinals pick up no runs on two hits, and they strand just the one. We've played four full innings here at Bush. The Rockies lead it four to nothing. The number two hole will be getting things started next. Todd Helton will try and make some trouble for them. He's coming up third in the inning. Fastball in with the swing of the ball hit down the left field line. This one may have a chance. And foul. The one-one pitch on the way. Man, big rip at that one, but. He was looking for something else. The one-two pitch. Now here's a swing and a line drive down the left field line. And foul. The one-two pitch coming. Now here's the ball grounded towards the hole. Roland has got it. And his throw is in time for the first out of the year. Wilson will step in one for one in this game. Base is empty with one out. First pitch on the way. Hit in the air to left center. And it's through and into the gap. It should be extra bases. The throw to second. Play at second and he is safe as he's able to slide in. Well, he's making his manager happy on this one. He's digging in the second base here with a head first dive. Now, you can see what he's doing here to keep the maximum distance from the tag of the second baseman with that little fadeaway and I uh, like his style. First pitch to him. Well, he didn't get cheated. That's the big fly swing. He throws. This one swung on and hit down the line and right. Walker is there and he has it for the second out. Johnny covers a lot of ground out there, and he's able to range to his left and pull this one in near the line. First pitch, here it comes. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. Ball Boom, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. One ball, one strike. Well, you get that fastball down and in, a lot of times you're just going to get the ground ball that you're looking for. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch, here it is. And he's in there at third. The one two pitch. He got him, and that is nine strikeouts. John, I think the pitch just had a fool on this one. Well, it's like he just pulled the string a little bit. That's good stuff right there. The Colorado Rockies get a man to third, but can't bring him in. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The Rockies on top, four to nothing. The five, six, seven spots do up. Jim Edmonds will be the first man up. That swing is every hitting instructor's nightmare. The pitcher has him 0 2. I look for him to go inside and then back outside. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Holiday glides over and makes the catch for the out. 
He gets good wood on this one, but it hangs up long enough for the left fielder to get there without much trouble. Nobody on base with one out. First pitch on the way. Line drive foul off to the right and back out of play. The pitch. There's a swing and a line drive. And foul. Now here's a swing and a fly ball. Wilson is right there and he hauls it in. He had a pitch to hit, but he's just a bit out in front and he sends an easy fly to center for the out. First pitch gun. Lined foul towards first. Swing of the ball hit foul down the right field line. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side is retired. He has punished him here, John. Three great pitches. Well, he's got to have great stuff because you don't see guys go down on three pitches like that very often. Very nice. First pitch, here it comes. There's a swing and a bullet towards the hole, and it's in there, base hit. Well, they're keeping the pressure on. We've got a moment here, and it's time for fan mail questions. Brought to you by ESPN Video Games. What is the difference, Joe, between a four-seam and a two-seam fastball? The difference between a four-seam fastball and a two-seam fastball is day and night. The two-seam fastball is a sinking fastball, which comes in and goes down. The four-seam fastball is a riding fastball. It kind of stays on the same plane. I don't think it actually rises, but it doesn't sink. All right, Joe. Now let's get back to the game. Man, was he fooled on that pitch. Change up. Got him swinging. A one-two pitch coming. Got him. And that is strikeout number 10 in this game. That's the 10th strikeout he's gotten with the slider, John. The hitters know what's coming. They still can't connect. With one out, there's a runner at first. First pitch to it. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. Over the second for one. And two. A double play. Hey, John, I bet this one brings back some great memories of getting two with you and David Concepcion. <laughs> John, sure does. I always love making the double play. This is one of the most enjoyable plays to make in baseball. That is, except the big fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> first pitch on the way. Take one. Here it comes. Hit of the ground down the first base line. And a step on first, four out number one. Nice play over there at first. Just to... Keep that one for himself. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a liner towards first. Helton has it. Throw, got him, and that is one fabulous play. Eckstein will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Base is empty, two down here. First pitch to him. On the ground to second. Miles has it. Throws on to first, and the side is retired. The St. Louis Cardinals are shut down again in that six innings without a run so far. At the end of six full innings, the Rockies on top, four to nothing. The numbers nine, one, and two spots coming up next. Aaron Miles is due up second in the next half inning.
first pitch. Here it comes. Checked his swing, but it's in there. 0 and 1. Two great pitches right on the edge. Now he's got him in trouble. He delivers. Fastball swung and missed. He struck him out. One away. John, that pitch is down and in. That shows great control right there. That'll finish the job anytime. Miles comes in now. He's a switch hitter batting from the right side. Nobody on base with one out. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch is a splitter in there for a strike. Well, you better be wearing a shin guard if you're going to swing at that pitch down and in. Let's see what he wants to do now. No balls, two strikes. A lot of different ways he can go here. Swing at a ground ball to short. Eckstein is up with it. That's short stuff right there to glove it. And then fires to first base for the out. Base is empty, two down. First pitch on the way. The split finger pitch is in there for strike one. The hitter's not looking for that splitter inside, John, so when they throw it in there, it can be tough to handle. Swing and a liner to left. Sanders is there, and he puts it away for out number three. And they're going to short one. They're taking their seventh inning stretch now here in St. Louis. Colorado has the lead. Four to nothing. And the two, three, four spots will be coming up next. Albert Pujols up second in the inning, and he's going to be awfully tough to deal with. First pitch to him. Swing and a miss on a ball inside. Strike one. There's a swing and a rocket toward short. Barnes is there and he makes the catch for the first out of the inning. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. The pitch. Now the pitcher has him 0 and 2. He can do anything he wants. And he swings and hits this one foul. This is swung on and hit in the air. Wilson into a slide as he takes one away with a great basket catch. This guy's just blowing batters down now. 11 in a row. Wilson with an acrobatic diving catch. I think it's worth another look, Joe. Well, Johnny gets a great jump on this one. He's able to lay out and pull this one in. Nice grab. Bases empty. Two down here. First pitch on the way. Swing and a roller towards the hole. Helton is there, and he'll step on first to retire the side. The St. Louis Cardinals are frustrated yet again, and that's now seven shutout innings. We'll move ahead to the eighth. The Rockies lead four to nothing. The three, four, five spots in the order coming up next. Todd Helton is due up second in the next half inning. Splitter swung on and missed 0-1. Now here's a swing, and the ball hit well. Down the left field line. It may have a chance. And foul. on the slider for out number one. Man, that's a hard slider with a nice leg break, John. That's a great two-strike pitch. Tough one to hit. Helton will stand in. He homered earlier in the game. First pitch to him. Swing and a line drive. And it drops in for a base hit. The throw to second. This pitch is really bearing down on him, but he steps into this one and gets the sweet spot of the bat on it. Holiday will bat here. He drove in a run earlier in this game. That one moved a lot, but it moved off the plate inside. Now he sets. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That one just broke down and out of the strike zone. He's ready. The 2-0 pitch on the ground to third. To second for one and two. A double play. 
right around the horn, around the bases, third to second to first, a double play. Well, the manager loves that. He says keep getting the job done. No runs on one hit and nobody left on. Here come the Cardinals in the home half of the eighth. Colorado leads it four to nothing. Five, six, seven hitters coming up next. Jim Edmonds will be leading it off and they're going to have to deal with him somehow. Guess right on the fastball, but he was still out in front. Two angels. This one swung on and fouled away. And he is now aware that the fans want to see some action. And he fouls this one off. On the way. Swing and a soft rounder towards second. And his throw gets him. One away. Good reaction by the pitcher. He makes the play and throws on the first. Base is empty with one out. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a line drive. Helton is there and he puts it away for the out. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. Breaking ball swung out and missed. It's 0-1. The 0 1 pitch, a fastball swung on and missed, 0 and 2. There's a swing and a liner towards first. Helton on the run as he gets there in time to put it away. And this one definitely deserves another look. And John, this is one of those plays you'll be seeing on sports and a great heads up play for the out. Yeah, so we'll get a lot of more looks there. First pitch to him. And he swings and hits this one foul. Oh, and I don't think he wants to play nice, John. Look out for the long ball. Oh, swing the drive. Deep in the left field. This ball is going back. Still going back. Tell it goodbye. I tell you what, there's a reason why that zone is colored red on this hit chart. There isn't a batter alive that wouldn't love to see pitches right down the middle every time he steps up. John, I thought this one just might hit the wall, but it had enough carry to get out of here, and the pitcher is bummed. He is bummed for sure. A liner, but I tell you what, the guy made hard contact, and when you make hard contact, you deserve to have something good happen, and that one, he just kept going and made it over the wall somehow. But Lefter actually thought he had a shot at it, at the beginning, but he wasn't able to get there in time. You always try to keep the splitter down because that'll set up the next pitch. Here's the 1-0 delivery. Now a swing and a ball hit on the ground. And his throw gets him. One away. Johnson will step in. He's 0 for 3 up to this point. First pitch, here it comes. He swings and misses at the splitter, 0-1. Pitch on the way. On the ground to short. Eckstein is there to play it on the hook. Throws the first and he's retired for out number two. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch on the way. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. Got the fastball by him that time and he's in control now. 0-2. The slider is swung on and missed. He struck him out on the side of the time. Let's take a look at the pitching sequence, John. He delivers three straight strikes. Yeah, that's not much of a sequence. Just uh, get to the plate and then take your spot in the bench. The Rockies pick up a run on the homer and add to their lead. And we move on to the last of the nine. The Rockies on top, five to nine. This one swung out and hit on the line. And foul. Here's a swing and a miss, and he's not even close. 0 and 2. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. This one swung on and fouled away.
Grounded down the first base line. And foul. He deals. He's out. Big swing and a miss on a fastball. And he struck him out. One away. Great location on this pit. He kept it down and caught the corner. King comes up. For the first time right now. Base is empty. One out. First pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. This is swung on and a liner. Helton has got it. And he steps on first and that's out number two. Next time will come to bat now. He's one for three in the game. First pitch on the way. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. This one swung on and fouled away. And he sends this one in the air towards center. And that gets down for a base hit. The throw to second. Here's a guy that's at his most effective when he can extend those arms and take a big cut at the ball up in the zone like that. We've seen him do that before. That's where he likes it. The crowd is getting behind their team. They simply won't let it. There's a swing. And the ball hit well. Dead straight away. Center field. Gone. A two-run homer. Now they still trail by three runs. But that two-run homer makes it look a little bit more doable. The center fielder would have loved to have robbed him. It didn't clear the wall by that much. But he couldn't get there in time. Yeah, he really blasted this one. He sat back on this one, took his time, and got a real nice swing. Chacon is being called in, and he's going to be the new pitcher. Last year, he was a nine-game winner. And this sets up a lefty-lefty matchup. That should work in their favor. Pujol will step in. He's 0 for 3 up to this point. Base is empty, two down. First pitch to him. Now here's a swing and a soft liner. And foul. He's receiving some support from the fans, even though the home team. This one swung on and hit in the air. As this one one hops the wall. Runners are critical late in the ball game, even with two outs. They're going to need a few more hits, though, if they want to tie this baby up. First pitch, here it comes. A big swing on this one. Deep to right field. Over the wall. Two runs in on the home run. And the comeback now has begun in earnest. They are to within one run after that two-run homer. Well, if you need to start pecking away at the lead, this is the way to do it. All right, Joe. I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit. You think they'll be able to hold on to this lead? I want you to make a go out on a limb, make a prediction right here. Well, John, the way things have been going here, I'm definitely not going to put them in the win column just yet. Base is empty, two down. Swung on and lined softly to the left side. The Colorado Rockies come in here from out of town and they win a tight one, a one-run win on the road. That's always a big one. And it was great game, John. Both teams really put themselves in position to win the ball game, but there was always going to be one hero at the end and it went right down to the wire. Todd Helton was the key here tonight, Joe. No doubt that he'll earn the ESPN Video Games Player of the Game Award. There were not a lot of runs scored in this game, and the runs...